This is moving on to another metropolis, uh, Kolkata, where the countdown has begun to the crucial elections next year. And so the body of a Trinamool worker allegedly killed by the CPM in Lalgar was taken on in a procession today with the Trinamool attacking what it calls the CPM's politics of violence. The CPM in turn branded the Trinamool's move body politics and questioned who the dead man was, a Trinamool worker or a member of a Maoist front. Mamta Banerjee paying respects to Shonathan Hembraum killed, the Trinamool claims, by CPM supporters in his village in Lalgarh. Just three days ago, Buddhadev Bhattacharya had garlanded the body of a CPM student wing supporter killed in a clash between rival unions. Tit for tat politics with dead bodies? The Trinamool says no. We just want to draw the attention of the people of the state of West Bengal just three days back. The way Chief Minister came on the street with the dead body of a student. So many students have died, but never that we have seen Chief Minister either to Garland or to come on the spot. But as Hembrom's hearse wound its way across the city, the CPM decried Trinamool's brand of body politics and also raised questions about Hembrom's identity. Sanatan Hembrom, he happened to be our ex Jharkhand party uh, activist, joined Maoist, the PCPA, then uh, Maoist squad members, and people were, uh, police was after him. And Trinamool claims that it is their supporters or uh, loyal soldier. So that, that itself proves that there is hardly any difference between the Trinamool Congress and Maoist squad members and PCP is a common platform. With assembly polls in Bengal just months away, there is growing apprehension that this brand of gruesome politics could become the norm. Competitive politics is fine, most say, but dragging dead bodies into the fray crosses all limits. In Kolkata, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.